a happy family. I don't understand everything yet, but I'm picking up the pieces, and this hurts a bit. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Amori. We're getting into some heavy territory, but we're having fun. It's a bit rough, but we're having fun. Meow. Waiting for something to happen. So apparently D and F were unnecessary. Good to know. Um, so black place, maybe? Um. I'm not sure what else, but... Yeah, welcome back. Let's see what's going on here. Alright, I guess we're gonna leave the dream, even if it means doing this. At that time, I saw everything. And when you stood here before, did you see it too? Something behind you. Three days left. Good morning. Wake up in the morning. A table lamp. You have a new message. Hey, Sunny, it's Mommy. How are you doing? Are you eating well? I was hoping I could make it back to see you today, but it's the last day of a big furniture sale and I just can't resist a good bargain. You can not You can take care of yourself for a few days, right? After all, you're a big boy now. Remember to finish your chores before I get back. I left a list on the table next to the door. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Zzz. An old computer. I don't want to play blackjack right now. Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Brush your teeth. 
your breath is now minty fresh. Any ramen? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? Hello? Sunny? Are you there? Do you remember me? It's your old friend Kel. I knew it'd be Kel. So I... Ah. Uh, I noticed the for sale sign in front of your house, and I... Uh, heard from my mom that you were moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go, or whatever. For old time's sake, you know? Open the door. I slowly open the door. Hey, Kel. Whoa, you actually came out! Er, uh, I mean... Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, Sonny. I really didn't expect you to come out today, so I don't really have a game plan here. Hey, I know, let's go to Hobbies. It's the hobby shop in the faraway plaza. You remember the way, right? We used to go there all the time when we were kids. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Okay. A pinwheel blows freely in the wind. And an empty picnic basket. Three days left. A classy white mailbox. A for sale sign with a big red sold sticker on it. Your house has been sold. In three days, you'll be moving somewhere else. Kel's basketball hoop. Seems a little dangerous out in the street like that. Yeah. Wait, hold up, Sunny. I know it's been a while since you've been over to my place, but now might not be a good time. <laughs> A row of colorful trash cans. The black trash can is for trash, the blue is for recyclables, and the green is for nature stuff. An empty birdhouse filled with sticks and dust. Plastic flamingos decorate this yard. They seem to be in good spirits. There's no response. Um, a statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it is judging you. There's no response. You shouldn't walk in the street, Sunny. That's dangerous. Oh, look at Kel being responsible. A fire hydrant. Hmm. Nice shoes up there. Good holes reference. Anyway. Digging up them holes, digging. Digging, digging up them holes, yeah. A big red stop sign. Far away park. The future belongs to the dreamers. A vending machine. I'm on my way to church, but it's a ritual of mine to take a quick stroll before delivering my sermons. I've had horrible stage fright ever since I was a child, but a scenic walk always seems to calm my nerves. My friends are disappearing. Interesting you can just walk into him by mistake like that. An artist is diligently sketching away. 
Well, that's a cool drawing of the park you have there. Uh, oh, hi there. Thank you, I'm just practicing. That's what you call practicing? But it looks so real. I bet you could even sell that for money. Don't you think so, Sunny? Yeah. See? Even Sunny agrees with me. Heck, I'd buy that from you right now. Hey, Sunny, can you lend me 20 bucks? <laughs> Thanks. That's so nice of you, but it's not for sale. It's for my portfolio. I'm trying to get into an art school next year. Aw, oh, darn, that's too bad. That would have looked great on my bedroom wall. You really think so? My name in Mi is Mincy. What's yours? Hey, realist Bo. I'm Kel, and this is Sunny. Hi, Kel and Sunny. It's nice to meet both of you. So my <clears throat> it's nice to meet you too, Mincy. Uh, hmm? What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself, and it gets hard to move my pencil. No way, I don't believe that at all. I really think your drawings are gr is great. I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years. Don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy. It means I need to believe in you. Uh, yeah, you're right. I just gotta shake off those bad feelings. I'll... I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. I do be wanting pizza pie. When a moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Eel. That's the spirit. See you around, Mincy. You got this. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here helps me put things into perspective. I might take it... I might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes to relax is to stop and smell the roses. Hello, youngins. I don't know if you've been watching where you're stepping, but there's quite a bit of trash around this part of town. If you happen to f find any, can you bring it to me so I can dispose of it properly? Come on, youngins. Help. Let's help the world one step at a time. Okay, so if I find any trash... You got trash. Drink apple juice. Have you heard of the phrase, an apple day keeps the doctor away? Same concept applies to apple juice. Apple juice supports hydration. It contains beneficial plant compounds and may support heart health. It may also protect your brain as you age. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. Okay. A fruit cart. It's mostly full of apples. Good to know. Hello, youngins. I see you have some trash with you. Thanks, I'll dispose of this properly. Here's a one dollar for your help. <laughs> Can I buy that now? I didn't mean to talk to you. I meant to talk to Mincy. Brain shut off. Diligently sketching away. The stench of this man is indescribable. What you make that face for, bub? Is there something on my face? Oh, hey. What's up? Uh, what are you doing here, Cal? You from in this part of town? Oh, whoa. I didn't expect to see you here, Jay. Sonny, this is Jay. He's the captain of the football team at my high school. I didn't know you played basketball, too. Eh. I'm just here to kill time. It's more of a hobby than anything. You're trying out for the basketball team next year, right, Cal? This year, Cal, right? Uh, maybe you can teach me some of your tricks. Yeah, definitely. That sounds like fun. But maybe another time. My childhood friend Sonny is here living town. My childhood friend Sonny here is leaving town the next few days, so we're hanging out all day today. I'll definitely catch up with you later, though. Sure, we can get some set something. Yeah, we can set something up next week. Same time, same place. Yep, sounds good. See you then. We are recyclists. Follows the holy bin. As all have littered, all must accept that they are trash. Reduced, reuse, and recycle. Okay, that's weird. Listen, Adora, I could never read. That's my secret. Okay. A large metal cat. You remember it being a lot bigger. 
A jungle gym. Smells like rusty metal. A swing set. Smells like rusty metal. A teddy bear. A slide. Smells like rusty metal. A pail and shovel. When I was younger, my family used to go to this park a lot. I remember there being a lake with a statue in the middle, but I can't find it anywhere. An empty picnic basket. Yeah. You got trash. Oh, hello. <coughs> uh, today is such a beautiful day, don't you think? I may not have any money, but at least sunlight is free. Well, the nice thing about that is that you can absolutely click on people to ban them. <laughs> There's some construction going on here. Uh, some things just never change. A yo-yo. That apparently never changes either. A tether ball pole. Smells like rusty metal. Hello, youngins? Two dollars for the help. I have no idea why I'm getting money, but you know what? Why not? Might as well. Oh, maybe I have to talk to the guy over here more. The smelly guy. Or maybe I just have to come back at a later time. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> A parked car. A parked car. Oops. <laughs> this guy is this guy's a dickhead. Parked right in the center lane. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Buckets of paint. Come on, Sandy, let's go to hobbies first. Oh, but I want the money. Drink orange juice. Have you ever heard of the phrase orange is the happiest color? No? Well, that's fine. Just know the same concept applies to orange juice. It has vitamin C, which is essential for healthy immune system functions. It is also an antioxidant that may have health benefits by protecting your cells from free radical damage. Whatever that means. Just a regular old mailbox. Come on, Sonny. Let's go to hobbies first. Dang, let me talk to people. Well, here we are at Hobbies. It's probably been a while since you were here, but it hasn't really changed all that much. It's all the same old stuff. Captain Space Boy games, sweetheart movies, a few pet rocks. Except now they're vintage. Actually, since we're here, I would probably buy a gift for Hero. He's in college right now, but he should be coming back at you sometime tomorrow. He's studying to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine? No, that's a horrible idea. You should help pick out the gift, Sonny. Let's look around here and see what there is. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even come all the way from the city to stop here. My favorite novel just got a comic adaptation, but the main character looks nothing like how I imagined him. A poster for a new game where you can travel across different worlds. Nothing you haven't seen. A game called Captain Space Boy Space Adventure. It costs one dollar to play. Hey Sunny, let's get Hero's gift first. We can play later. An old vintage game console hooked up to a TV. I already have this console, Sunny. I don't think I can afford it too. A money machine. A capsule machine. It's three dollars to try. Hey Sunny, let's get Hero's gift first. We can play later. Cardboard cutout, Captain Space Boy. 
a bunch of small figurines. I've always been fond of these little guys. He would get mad at me for spending some my lunch money on them, though. Let's not remind him of that. This? Yes, this is perfect. Papa Chip's chip off the old block cookbook. Wow, well, that's a mouthful. You had a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog Hector destroyed it. He's gonna be so happy when he sees this. But before that, we need to talk and ask the most important question. How much does it cost? $20, that is extortion. Shoot, I left my wallet at home. Er, uh, can you spot me, Sonny? I'll pay you back, I promise. Thanks, friend, I knew I could count on you. You took Hero's gift off the shelf. Okay. Interesting poster. Wow, the monster in the poster looks so realistic. I'll bet fighting that would be a tough battle. Sure. This is a mistake. easy. Sunny was victorious. Hello? Sunny? Earth to Sunny. Whoa, a CD fell from behind the poster. Weird. I wonder how, who hid it there. I guess we can just take it? You got a Mary CD. <laughs> Alright. On skateboards. Chock full of DVDs. Playing cards are scattered across the table. A new video game called Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3. Some colorful CDs. Maybe you can play them at a jukebox. Alright. Hey, shopkeep, we'd like to buy this cookbook, please. Hell, how have you been, buddy? It's been a while since you've come around, hasn't it? Ah, that's Papa Chip's chip off the old block cookbook. I see you have good taste. Yeah, my brother used to fold his recipes all the time. His cooks, his cookies were my favorite. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chip's work. That'll be twenty dollars, please. Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. You got Hero's gift. Thanks a lot, Sonny. I bet Hero will love this. I am now down to 13 bucks. I just realized that it has like the Washington thing. Okay. So, where do you want to go now, Sonny? Guess there's really not much to do around the suburbs, huh? Oh, how about the faraway park? Yeah, the park. We passed it by on the way here. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Yo, I'm Michael, soon-to-be traveling musician. I've been playing guitar here at the Town Plaza for years now, but I think I'm finally ready to move on. Will you help me reach my goal? Anything will help. Yeah. You've donated one dollar to Guitar Guy. Hmm, looks like I still have quite a way to go before I can leave the town. Thank you. In return, I'll play you an original song. That's crazy. Even in my dreams, I still feel this. Hey, kiddos, you cut me on my break. But 
trying to decide what to eat for a good 10 minutes, but I don't know why I'm fussing so much. Whatever I get, sure to be good. Cool. Ha ha ha. So, I see you're peeking at the Help Wanted poster that I put there. Are you interested in a job? Cool. Let me help you get started. Oh, you're taking this job, Sunny? In that case, I'll come back for you later. Work hard, okay? So, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? I'll just start with the good news. So the good news is we got three different pizza orders today. The bad news is our delivery boy said we called him sick yet again. These customers are all rigorous, so we stopped recording their addresses a long time ago. I can't remember where they live off the top of my head, but I do remember what their houses look like. Here, just take these notes and you'll be fine. Pizza man gave you his pizza notes. I'll go grab your uniform. Don't be shy. Wear your uniform loud and proud. Now remember, you have three pizzas delivered. When you're done, just bike your way back to the stop, to the shop. I'm counting on you. Oh, what in the hell does this say? <laughs> Chimney? Ch Chimmy? Purple roof with a... Okay. This pizza goes to the house that has the ladder by the something and the purple roof of the chimney. So it has a ladder and a purple ch and purple roof with the chimney. This is it. Pizza delivery. Delicious, delicious pizza. I'm coming for you, baby. I guess our odds you've successfully delivered the pizza. It's time to move on to the next order. Find the house with the gray car and the... And the flowers in the drive? No. What is this saying? Find the car and the flowers. What is this saying? Okay. Gray car. Flowers. Beside the five something. I'll try to figure it out. Gray car, something to do with flowers. So initially look for the gray car and see if there are flowers. That's a white car. Green. I think I've already made it clear I can't read. This has flowers beside the driveway, so this one? Pizza delivery. Hey, well, you guys came sooner than I thought. Thank you, delivery boy. Guess what else? You've successfully delivered the pizza. Um. Take. Take this pizza down the street to the house with the dark something something and the light brown roof. So it's a light brown roof, a dark something that starts with a P. Plank? Plank? I don't know. Dark, it's a dark door. Dark pink door, maybe? Dark pink door and brown roof?
the light brown roof. Dark pink door, light brown roof. That might be this one over here. Would you describe this as dark pink door and light brown roof? What do you guys think? Anyone? The dark pink door and the light brown roof. Is that dark pink and light? I apparently hit the doorbell. It doesn't matter what you guys say. What took you so long? Gino's pizza is really slipping these days. That's all of them. It's time to head back to Gino's. Hey, newbie. You're just the guy I wanted to see. According to some recent feedback, it seems your customer satisfaction rating is a 10 out of 10. Anyway, here's some monies. Get a, against all odds, get a perfect score delivering pizza. Maybe you can use it to buy some pizza. 20 bucks for your hard work, hell yeah. And since you've been such a good sport, here's another freebie. You got otherworldly CD. It's one of my all-time favorite tunes. You can play it on the jukebox right down yonder. Hey Sunny, how did you do on your job? While you were working, I decided to sit on a bench and talk to strangers. Man, that was fun. Well, I'm ready to go when you are. I'm Rai. I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of sorts. If you play CD in the jukebox over there, I bet I can tell you who the artist for the track is. Sure. You inserted the other world with CD in a jukebox. Gina's jukebox. Okay, good to know. You inserted the Mary CD into Gina's jukebox. Otherworldly. Take prey. Oh boy, I know this song. This is the cover of Stardust Diving by Sam Neeland. The Mary CD. Song. This is an original song by Toby Fox. Hell yeah! That tracks. Especially at this point. Yeah, that's Toby. An arcade machine. It doesn't look like it's working. Kindly seat yourself. Would you kindly seat yourself? My wife keeps telling me that I'm getting chubbier and tubbier, but I just can't help myself when we live so close to delicious food like Gino's Pizza. Oh, hmm, pizza. Hello, hello, my name is Gino. I know what you're thinking, and no, I don't own this place, but they gave me a free whole pizza for my birthday every year, so that's pretty cool. Okay. We got trash. The tea fell off of the fix-it store, and that's funny. For now, where is it? There might not have been one here. For some reason, I thought there was a save here. Maybe it's over at the other place. Wait, don't go. Please. Sorry, dude. I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh-oh. 
There's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. They ain't none of my business. If you got beef with her, talk to yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait, is that? That's Basil. Leave him alone, you bully. Huh? Who's there? Oh, it's just Kel. Grumble, grumble. Why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you bother someone else, Kim? Well, are you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? No, oh, there's a girl. Oh! Wild. So this is what you look like. Oh, hey Aubrey. That this nerd Kel just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Kel, what do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Sonny. Sonny's here? Wow, well, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four. Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. <laughs> Whatever. Aubrey. Please, listen to me. Hey, stop that. Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Uh, Sonny, come on, we've got to do something. <laughs> what are, you, are you guys really picking a fight? Sure, why not? The two of you against me, how's that sound? Come at me. I'll take on both of you. Tell encourage a sunny, raise the sunny's attack. Axe first, reduce the damage. Headbutt to kill. Yeah! What the? It's, is that a knife? Oh shoot, Aubrey, are you okay? You're hurt. I'm fine. No, you're not, you're bleeding. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. Uh, I'll get you back for this. I forgot that Sunny has a knife. Ooh. I kind of forgot that wasn't just an Amori thing. Well, that was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife there, we would have... Wait a second. Give me that. Took away your steak knife. You shouldn't be carrying things like around, around like this, Sonny. That's dangerous. Ugh. This Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Let's check to see if he's okay. Hey, Basil. How are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. Kel. I don't know if you noticed, but Sunny's here too. Say hi, Sunny. Oh, hey, Sunny. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! What a happy reunion! So, did you want to hang out with us today? Oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I should probably head home. Huh? Really? Are you sure? I, um, my grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let us at least walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. Oh, uh, all right then. Thank you. Hey, 
hands. These are all you have. Throwing hands, I see. Basketball. Kel's weapon of choice. Surprisingly effective. And Kel's pet rock. Kel's best friend. I want to try something. I want to see if I could have gotten a different reaction. Um, weren't you guys going to drop me off? Yeah, but I was trying to save the game so I could load a file. Fine, whatever. Bye. Huh. That's not the way to Basil's house. Remember, Sunny? It's on the street that's diagonal from ours from the crosswalk. Meow. Kitty, a pinwheel blows freely in the wind. I have to assume it's there. There's Basil's house. It's the one with the green roof. I mean, yeah, and all the plants. Fertilizer. P.U. Um, thanks for walking me home. No problemo. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch up later, Basil. Okay. Wait, please don't go. I... I mean... I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil. What do you need? Well, you see, something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends, do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. I... right. Well, Aubrey... she took my photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album? Well, she... she won't give it back. What a scumbag. Don't you worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Sunny got you covered. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. By the way, about what you said before. We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Come on, Sonny, there's no time to lose. We got a photo album to find. Let's check Faraway Park for clues. Ooh, paint. Buckets of paint. And a small bone. Okay, are we... Big bag of trash. Let me take it. I want money. <laughs> the hell is that about? Alright. Guys, next time on Let's Play Amori. I'm... I'm not sure if I want to cut it here or not, actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run up to the park, or I'm going to, I'm going to run back to Sunny's house and save. We'll cut it back there. Just to be sure I don't miss anything, so. An empty picnic basket. I've been going for over four hours now. So guys, next time on Let's Play Mori, we're gonna figure out what's up with Basil and Aubrey. Hero's not gonna be back in town until tomorrow, so we're not gonna see him today. And obviously we're not gonna see Mary. But that doesn't mean that things can't get better. We can take the steps we need to, one step at a time. I'll see you all next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day.
Goodbye.